Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today, we'll take you through another CSS property, which is the CSS gradient property. So in this video tutorial, we are going to play with some colors and we are going to see how we can use colors to make a web page look more beautiful and attractive to the user. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have regular updates on multiple programming videos. So if you are a programmer and if you want to learn something new, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply Code. So without any further delay, let's start with CSS gradients. Before we move on to the programming part, let's understand what CSS gradients are. So CSS gradients are a way of creating a smooth transition between two or more colors in a web page. So gradients are created by defining two or more colors and then specifying how those colors should be blended together to create a smooth transition between them. So let's just understand this quickly with the help of a simple example. Fine. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a grid or what we can say a box. So let's say we have a div here. Let's say I'm writing box one over here. Fine. Now we'll move to the CSS part. So we'll have to add the style tag over here. We'll just write style and inside this we are going to write here div. That's it. Then we'll write border. Border is let's say one pixel solid and black in nature. We are, we are already aware of these properties, right? So let's move on and just save this program. So here you can see we have box one written over here. Okay, so we have to write here only div because you are we are using element name. Now what we are going to do is we are going to set the width. Width is going to be let's say 200 pixels. And then we are going to set the height. Height again let's say we are going to set as 200 pixels. Fine, so this is our box. Now what we are going to do is we are going to use the gradient property. It's so simple to use. Just use the background image property. We just have to use this property. Now the gradients in CSS are of two or three different types. We have linear, radial and the third one is conic. So we are going to discuss the linear and radial gradient right now. So we have written it over here. Now we can just write here two or we can use the angle. So if you are using this property, the gradient property, then you should know about angles and all. So for now we are just going to use a direction or just Forget about direction, just write here red and yellow. Fine. Okay, we have to write here yellow, save it. And here you can see the gradient. Red is on top, yellow is on the bottom and they are blended together in a very smooth way, right? So this is what gradient is. So they are blended together and you guys can see the difference. It was dark red at the top and then it changed to yellow at the bottom. So this is how we can use the gradient property. Now this is what gradient is. Fine, we are using linear gradient. We are going to see a lot of examples for them right now. So let's discuss the types of gradient. So linear gradients are created or we can say there are basically two types, linear and radial gradients. Fine, so linear gradients are created by defining a starting point and an ending point for the gradient. And the gradient then blends the color together along a straight line between them to determine the direction of the linear gradient. So what we can do is how to use linear gradient, right? We are going to understand how to use this property. So here you can see we have used linear gradient and it's red is on top and yellow is on the bottom. So for linear gradient, we need three values. Two are the colors and the third one we can say is the direction always. So if I'm writing over here, like uh, whatever I write, if I write to bottom, save it and this is i guess by default so we'll write here to top and here you can see the change so this is the direction now to top means the red will go down and yellow will come at the top so we can use direction we can use angles as well here let's say if i'm writing here 180 degree save it and here you can see it's back to its normal if i'm writing here 90 degree which is a right angle save it and here you can see they are now diagonal or we can say they are now vertical. So red is on the left side and yellow is on the right side. It's from the left towards the right, right? 
so we can use any angle here so if i'm writing here 360 degree i don't know the exact output of this value so let's check save it and here you can see red is again going to the bot towards the bottom and yellow is at the top so this is how we can use angles as well we'll talk about them later on so let's discuss linear gradient first now direction plays a very important role when it comes to linear gradient so direction can be left to right top to bottom and let's take an example again so what we are going to do is we are going to remove this from here we already know the syntax for linear gradient right so what i'll do is i'll just write linear gradient over here now we need three values the first one is going to be the direction it can either be an angle or the direction fine so we can use to right for left to right and we can use to left from right to left so similarly we can use directions so let's say if i'm writing over here to right fine now we need to specify two colors let's say i'm using blue this time and red let's see how it works save it and here you can see blue and red blue is on the left side red is on the right side it's towards the right from left to right and you can see the blended colors right so here it's dark blue on the left side and then right side it's dark red but in between the colors are blended together very smoothly right so this is what gradients can do and imagine using these gradients on your web page and it will make your web page look more beautiful to the user right it's quite obvious so this is how we can use the linear gradient now we can use angles as well as we just discussed so if i'm writing something other than this here like if we want to define angles first thing we have to use is this deg which stands for degree the angle will be 260 degree now save it and here you can see they just the colors just swap their positions right and red is a little more than blue right so you can see red reaches still here and blue ends up here at the center of the box so this is because of the angle now if i'm writing over here 60 degree save it and here you can see they are now split at 60 degree angle fine so this is how we can use what we can say angles now the next thing we can do is we can use multiple colors so like if we want to use what we can say uh blue red and yellow fine so here you can see the three colors now it looks much better right so let me just remove this degree from here and i'll write to right over here from left towards right so here you can see blue red and yellow we can use three different colors or it's not just that let's create a rainbow type effect so if i can't write here with your sorry the first color is always violet and the second one is indigo then the third one is blue and the fourth one is green yellow v i b g y orange and red fine so here we are done with all the colors of a rainbow let me just increase the size before of this box before i let's make it 500 pixels and 200 pixels save it and here you can see we have a box right we have all the seven colors if it's not visible i'll just do one thing i'll make it 200 again and save it so here you can see violet indigo blue so there's a color between violet and blue which is indigo you can see it over here if i zoom in maybe you guys will be able to see so this is the indigo color violet indigo blue green then we have yellow orange we have a little shade of orange and then at the end we have red so this is the rainbow effect but what we did is quite simple we just used the names of all the seven colors of a rainbow and it's fine right so similarly what we can do is we can use transparency as well so css gradients also support transparency we can create fading effect kind of thing so for that what we have to do is let's just remove these colors from here and close this now what we can do is see we have to use rgba values rgb stands for red green and blue 
and we have to use two colors let's say we are going to use blue color fine so 0 comma 0 comma 255 comma 0 is going to be the first value for the transparent color and then 0 comma 0 comma 255 comma 1 for the second save it and here you can see the transparency effect so this box is white at the left hand side and dark blue at the corner right hand right so here you can see it's a transparency effect we can see the white color behind the box from here but we can't see it from this side because we have used the transparency effect so using linear gradients is quite simple we can also repeat linear gradients so the repeating linear gradient function is used to repeat linear gradients what we have to do is we have to write here repeating okay linear gradient let's see if it works save it and here you can see it's not working so what we have to do is we just have to remove this from here if i'm writing here yellow 10 percent and let's say blue is the other color which we are going to use 20 percent so here you can see we have repeating css gradient linear gradient right towards the right and it's not looking that good if you guys ask me and yeah but we can see the repeating pattern so what else we can do is we can use red color here with them let's use three different colors save it and here you can see now the gradients are repeating themselves right but it the using normal gradients is a better idea i guess then the next thing we have is the radial gradient so a radial gradient is defined by its center now what we'll do is we'll just create another text box fine or we can say another div tag okay we have to remove we have removed this from here that's why it's showing an error and what we'll do now is we'll use box 2 for div class is equals to box 2 and we'll just write box 1 over here save it and here you can see box 2 we have to write here and now we have to use the access specify here so we'll use class and we are going to name this class as box 1 just change the class name here from div to dot box 1 save it and here you can see we have one box only now now what we are going to do is we are going to write here box 2 this is the class name for our second box now we are going to use border as one pixel solid and black in color then we'll write width over here width is going to be 200 pixels again then we'll write height over here height is going to be 200 pixels again save it so we have another box and let's define padding as 15 pixels okay no we have to define margin over here sorry so we'll write margin over here and let's say we are using 15 pixels of margin margin top only will use because we want these boxes to be aligned so yeah here you can see we have two boxes now i guess the screen is completely visible so here you can see we have used repeating linear gradients in the first box but let me just remove the repeating part because it's not looking that good so we'll remove these percentages as well and we are going to create a multicolored linear gradient so here we have three colors red yellow and blue fine similarly we have box two as well now this time we are going to use what we can say radial gradient so what we have to do is we have to use the same property which is background image and then we have to write here radial okay radial gradient then the same values red red we have to write here green we have to write here yellow we have to write here so here you can see this is what we call as linear gradient now what we'll do is 
we'll just use the border radius property and we'll create a circle so if i'm writing here 50 percent so here you can see we have a circle now then just use percentage 10 percent 15 percent and for yellow let's write here 20 percent save it and here you can see yellow takes a lot of part right it took 20 percent fine if I'm writing here yellow as 10% again, so if I'm writing here yellow as 50%, okay, save it 51. Now it looks fine, right? We can differentiate between colors. So this one is red at the center, green at outside the red one. There's green color and the yellow is present at the outermost side of a circle so this is how we can use radial gradient and this is what radial gradients are similarly we can also use uh, angles for linear gradients so what we can do is we can also use other properties which are the closest side like the farthest side and similarly we can use repeating radial gradients as well so i hope you guys must have got a good idea by now about what css gradients are right and how we can use them the syntax for radial and linear gradients so basically these two gradients are what we always use for creating our web page look more beautiful to the user so that's all for this video guys i hope you must have got a good idea about gradients and if you feel that we have missed out on some important topic that we were supposed to cover in this particular video then please feel free to drop them down in the comment section below and a team of experts will definitely answer them for you so thank you so much for being here guys We'll see you next time with some other video. Until then, keep coding and stay tuned to Simply Code. Thank you.